Hello all you Pixel people, I am Pixel and welcome to the Stanley Parable. I decided to get the full game, I, the demo did okay on the channel, I'm not sure how well this will do. But I'm not really bothered to be honest, I have wanted to play this ever since I played the mod version and I heard that it was creating a full version. I've not played any of it so far, um, I've just set up the graphical settings and my mouse sensitivity and stuff like that. And we're about to get into this and hopefully we will have quite a good time. Let's just get straight to it, yeah? Okay. I'm not this is the story of a man named Stanley. I'm Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. <laughs> this is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Fair enough, he must be getting paid a lot to be happy doing that. And then that. one day, something very peculiar happened. No orders. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Hmm. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, what time is it? It is nearly 25 past 11. I'm assuming that's AM. Yeah, because he would have got in at nine. What does this say? Hit Mondays. I wonder what day it is actually. I'm just very cautious in this game because if, if it's anything like the mod version, there'll be lots of little bits and bats around. Which uh, may change the story in some small way. Yeah, 427, that was definitely me. Oh, this is the room. Like, at the end of the demo version, you walk out here and you come into here. Ah, okay, okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> no matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Or maybe it's because it's bank holiday Monday. <laughs> and he just turned in like an idiot. Oh, following orders. What does it say on the screen? Can I read it? I can't jump, can I? Oh, dang it. You know when you really want to read something? Yeah, there's no zoom. Ah, uh, never mind. I may zoom in on the recording just so I can have a look. I'm going to check these doors, just in case. I know it's supposed to be very linear, so maybe that... Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single <laughs> difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. That's what I was about to say. If it doesn't advance the story and I keep on doing this for a, a, a little while, then I'll stop doing it altogether. And look, there's more Windows desktop themes and frames for picture frames, or whatever you call them. Hmm. I wonder if everybody in the office did this same thing, just came in and pressed buttons. Surely not, because there's lots of different stuff here. Ooh. Knowing your city. Before you can possibly have... Uh, I can't read it, it's too small for me, I've got bad eyesight, guys. I'm assuming it's funny. Ha 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 ha. I'm assuming everything in this game is supposed to be funny. I know the narrator's gonna troll me. Some people said in my demo video that he's not trolling you, it's supposed to be funny. And I get that, and it is funny. But um, I'm just reacting how I would react if I was actually there, guys. I wouldn't be best pleased, to be honest. So more than just button pressing goes on in here. That's obvious. 
Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, should we listen for a little while? I, I think we should listen for a little while. And as soon as we start getting trolled, we'll start not listening. Sounds like a good idea. And look guys, the time actually goes in real time. That is crazy. I've never seen a clock in a video game do that. I don't care what you say about graphical enhancements in video games, about how good AI is in video games. We have now got working clocks in video games and that is pretty damn impressive. If only it was the real time, because right now I think it's like 8 a.m., not 11, but... Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Ah, uh, this is very much the same story up till now as the, uh, the mod version. Do not alter without consulting the whiteboard manager. Wow, whiteboard... I want to work for this company. You don't have to do hardly anything. <laughs> um, IT department with you. Review anything silly. M mergers. Okay, so if it is Monday. Um, I have no idea. No idea. Targets. Push for funding for R&D of new coffee machine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Get Chris out of the broom closet. Maybe we'll think about that. Oh, he should still be there. I wonder if that's like a little, uh, do we go there and someone goes, help, let me out, help. The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now, tomorrow. Complete today's unfinished agenda. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I'm not on that list. Okay, okay. I am going to walk around for a little while, guys, and just check stuff. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievable, amazing work all the time, every day. No exception. Of... Don't get fired. Okay. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Let it boil up inside you. Take it out passive-aggressively on other co-workers. Resent co-workers for not supporting you more. Using slice to a <laughs> uh, This is almost like a parody of big business. We are all unique. We've got ginger people, brown people, yellow people, white people. Number of slides on this slide charts. Ha ha. Okay, so now this is trolling me. It's like, it knows I'm looking at it, and it's like, yeah, we're going to get the same information constantly. <laughs> oh. Okay. Things, things, things. The stock market is somewhere here. Okay. Okay, well, we'll ignore that for now. Nothing really funny is coming on. Throw something in the ideas bin. Ten. Normal bin, chef cam. More water coolers, more water cool cooler heaters. Ha ha. Okay. Okay. We'll continue. Oh, so he was in Stanley the Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, 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 we don't. We want to uh, press all the things. Because there was somebody trapped there in here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No! No reason to still be here. No, there's somebody was trapped in here. What's up here? Is it it was baffling that Stanley was still just <laughs> sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some I... way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Doing sweet fuck all. Is that what I'm doing? You'll be surprised. There'll be something. I've are got you, a feeling. Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? 
Why? Because I... Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because on the notice board in there, it said somebody was trapped in here. Oh, unless he was trapped in here doing the exact same thing you that I'm realize doing. You do there's no choice or anything in here, right? Uh, I'm sorry. If I said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it uh. didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I don't believe I you. I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah, but... Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. It is! It is! Maybe, when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favourite. I hope your friends uh... find this concerning. No, it's nothing like that. I just wanted to see if... What was his name? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. It, it, no, it's... That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. That line is taken directly out of the mod version, guys. Directly out of the mod well, version. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. I'm not dead. I'm you got no, to this broom no. closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. No, 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 well, no. In a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. <sighs> Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He I'm or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability uh, of your species. Please is... remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful oh. commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. No! So, it appears that the narrator is a computer because he referred to me as a human in the way that you wouldn't refer to another human as a human. You wouldn't go up to somebody in the street and go, it's very human of you, that. Okay, we're gonna give it five seconds. If he doesn't say anything, we're leaving. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. I didn't do that badly. Come on. Ah. Oh, stairway. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs this to his boss's office. This is the mod! If I go downstairs, I die. If I go downstairs, I die. No, for being mean, I'm going downstairs. Forget that. No! Ooh. Hide under the stairs. Okay, no. But Stanley just couldn't do it. I couldn't. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. I know. He might be fired for that. Oh. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Yep. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. No. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. What, like? For example, why couldn't he see his feet <gasps> down? No! Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Uh! And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said no. to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Yes! This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. 
His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. Hmm. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. No! no, I, no I, then no. he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. No! And it too appeared. No. It was so much oh, fun. Wow. And Stanley marveled Whee. that he had still not woken up. How was uh -huh. he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's Let's head. go backwards. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly <laughs> strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Inception. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Exit. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the Must voice not been. see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. I'm he would prove it. that he was in control. That this was a dream. Uh. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself Please to Please don't make me up. jump. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. Oh, it's going to be something scary. The fresh air of a world outside this no. one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Don't scare me. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. It is. It is. I want my apartment and my wife oh, he's married. and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Yeah. My life is normal. I am normal. Yes. Everything will be fine. Please don't make me jump. I am okay. I'm okay. Dang it! No! No! Stanley began screaming. Please, uh... someone, wake me up! My name is Stanley! I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone red. tell me I'm red. real. I must be real, I must be. Can Don't anyone hear jump. my Don't voice? Who am I? Who am I? Don't and everything went black. No! Mr. Narrator, please can I go back upstairs? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. This is the most. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh, that's me! She would soon turn to go call for an ambulance. For just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. Yeah. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by uh. extension, the rest of her life. I'm sorry. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then uh, she turned and ran. You better call an ambulance. I might still have been alive. Okay, guys. So let's put me back to the start. And that basically means that we have completed the first ending of the Stanley Parable. What's going to happen now, guys, is I will upload a new ending every single day. Until we've basically seen most of them or all of them, I hope not to repeat, obviously. And it just means making different decisions at different time points. 
that was quite cool. Unfortunately, I have to admit that was pretty much the exact same ending as what you got in the mod version if you did the same path. It looks better. There was some added little nuances and some added dialogue, but uh, I'm kind of worried that this is going to be the exact same story as the mod version, even though they said it wouldn't be. But anyway, I enjoyed it. It, it, it still felt fresh in a cool way. And if you enjoyed it too, please don't forget to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness and to like this video, if you like this video. I am Pixel, thanks for watching, peace out, bye bye.